Laptops like the brand new Dell XPS 15 can be very expensive, but there is a real useful way to get the most out of it, and that is upgrading it yourself with a few new components that will give it some more storage and a little better performance. Step one, obviously, you have to buy some components. So I went out and I bought a brand new M.2 NVMe solid state drive and a couple sticks of DDR4 RAM, bringing me to 64 gigabytes. Now these combined together cost about 150 to 160 dollars depending on whatever price you could find them. Yes, there is faster RAM. Yes, there are faster and better solid state drives. But the point of this was to give more capability, not to be like the best. I'm not trying to turn this into a legit gaming rig because it's a productivity laptop. It's not a gaming monster. Now, one of the issues you will run into with Dell laptops in particular, at least the Dell XPS line, is you do kind of need like a specialized star head to get the screws off. Some laptops will use Phillips head, but not the XPS. So. You might have to go out and actually buy an electronics toolkit if you want one, like from the fancy folks over at iFixit. Now iFixit has sponsored my videos in the past, but they're not sponsoring this one, but they do make really good tools. I really like that this year's XPS uh, screws come off much easier than previous iterations. You might remember the, I doubt it's infamous because we're just a little YouTube channel here, but the time where I had to bring a power drill out here and drill out one of the screws because we stripped it uh, one year upgrading a laptop. These Dells can sometimes be a pain in the butt to get the lids off. There we go. There we go. And boom, rather easy. So you can see here, it is pretty easy and open to get to, uh, to do these specific upgrades. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is I was kind of irritated uh, back in the unboxing that the screw is not provided here straight out of the factory, but somebody did point out to me that there are screws available. They're just built into the top here, uh, which is crazy to me because on the XPS 17s, the screws and the heat sinks are just provided in this slot. You don't have to like, take them from the top of the laptop. So you don't actually have to source these yourselves, which is nice. I did bring my little electronic screw kit with me in case we needed it, but hey, check it out. You don't even have to buy anything. Opening the box for the solid state drive might be the hardest part of this whole experience, actually. There we go. First of all, when I was a kid, one terabyte of storage was an unthinkable amount of storage. Then it was like huge drives, huge like external drives that you had to plug in. And now look at that, a solid state drive that is, well, it's crazy. So all you have to do, you insert it at a bit of an angle, you push it until it clicks, click, you set it down, and then if you lined it up properly and it's plugged in all the way, you'll see that you can now fit the screw in there. Boom, it was just that easy. Okay, now you could, if you're trying to be like super safe, uh, you could unplug the battery from the motherboard if you wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else going on. I did ensure that the laptop was turned off before we started doing these upgrades. Make sure your laptop is at least turned off before you start doing the RAM upgrades or you could like, your computer will not be happy with you uh, if you don't do that. Let's open up the RAM. You do wanna use RAM that is matching as much as possible. So you wanna make sure you've got the same megahertz and you've got the same sizes. Uh, that way you can take advantage of dual channel memory. Cause if you haven't mismatched, uh, you won't get as much out of the memory as you potentially could. So if I have what I have two 16s in here, if I just get one 32 and put it in there, yes, I will technically have more RAM, but it won't be as good as having the two separate pieces. Okay, does this totally come off here? Yeah, okay, so that's like a little, little addition. Pop that off, just like that. So if you didn't see that because that piece of paper was in the way, you got these two little retaining clips right here. You just push them out and the RAM pops up just like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Take that out, pop it out. And then much like we did with the solid state drive, you take it at an angle so here's a lesson to learn in this video. The brand new Dell XPS 15 comes with DDR5 RAM. If you buy DDR4 laptop RAM, they do not fit together. They have a different kind of connection, as you can see here. So here's the RAM that came with it. Here's the RAM that I bought. These two connectors do not line up. So lesson learned, uh, if you are upgrading this, make sure you buy the proper type of RAM. But the steps in the process is still the same thing, right? You buy a stick of DDR5 RAM, you saw how we take it out. And the same thing, you just half put it in till you hear it click, press down. There, see, super easy. You take the other stick, half press it in, put it down, 
it's really that simple to upgrade the RAM yourself. You just have to make sure you don't buy the wrong type of RAM, and you really need to make sure that you don't buy the wrong type of RAM twice. I'm not saying I did that, but... And that's one of the great things about YouTube, right? Is you and I get to learn together. I am certainly not the expert on anything. But let's turn this back on and see how the brand new SSD is working. So step one, we had to turn the computer back on. But then we had to restart it because I had some BIOS updates that needed to happen. Um, so once we get here, we go to Disk Manager. I don't think it's called Disk Manager anymore. But if you... Oh, you type in Disk Manager, it still takes you to where you need to go. So you can see disk zero here is the hard drive that comes with the computer. It's got the operating system, all of those things installed on it. Now we have disk one, which is the SSD we installed, but we have to initialize it. We have to like partition it first. So we just right click on it, new simple volume that brings up the wizard. Uh, we'll assign it the volume of D. We'll do that, we'll let it do its thing. Now we have a new volume. And as we go back over here, this PC, you can see that is the new solid state drive that we just installed. It's that easy. Like seriously, folks, upgrading your own laptops, well, Windows laptops is so easy and it can save you so much money. You just gotta make sure you buy the right memory. But what about you? What are some things that you do when you upgrade your own laptop? Let us all know in the comments below because this is a community and we would love to share all that knowledge between us. And if you like this video, click here to see the unboxing for the Dell XPS 15. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.